Hello my buttercups. Welcome to another episode of a few days in my work life. In this episode, I'm going to take you with me on a set of night shifts to give you a little more insight into a psychiatry resident's life in a London hospital. I happened to film this video from my third night shift, so this video begins on a Wednesday evening. I'm all about that work-life balance and I promise you, you will get to see and understand a little more of my ethos in this vlog. We also happen to receive an outcome on our Schengen visa application. So come along to see my live reaction, a set of night on calls on the main site and basically a better insight into how I fix my biological body clock and not miss out on life post night shifts. Grab a cup of tea, coffee or any drink and hope you enjoy the ride. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is not the way probably I wanted to start the vlog. It's, what's the time? 6.13 in the evening. I just woke up. Actually, I've been up for the last 10 minutes and then I thought, hey, you know what? Let me just vlog the remainder days. So I'm currently on nights, which means that my body clock is completely upside down. So I sleep in the day and then I go to work at night. That was the most unflattering camera angle today is a wednesday this is such a odd day to start the vlog from but whatever it is what it is i just thought i'll take you guys with me on the remainder days of my own calls so i've got wednesday and thursday to finish i filmed a random clipping this morning when i was walking back from my on call to home so you can keep seeing me doing this which means two done and two more to go i don't know how much of footage i can get while i'm on call because i'm on call with another colleague so i don't feel too comfortable for filming when I have a colleague with me only because I don't know how they feel and also it kind of gets busy so yeah however I'll try I'll try I never say never yeah so I've got two more on calls remaining and then I've got Friday Saturday Sunday off yeah we'll see how this vlog turns out it's just I just thought you know what I'm just gonna pick up my camera and film so there's no structure to this video probably but we'll see how it goes yeah just wanted to say that oh also look at all this acne that's decided to walk into my life this is something that happens usually when i'm on nights it's just all messed up sleep cycle and plus i don't know the, how clean the linen is in the hospital earlier i used to freak out when i used to have fresh acne come in but now i'm just like well it's just gonna happen whether i like it or not ah hormones <laughs> hi where are you <laughs> You wanna say anything to your future self? Get back to work. It's almost 6.15. I'm gonna get up and do some editing of the previous vlog, which is a week in my work life. So that should be out before this. So if you haven't watched that, please do go and watch it. It was right after I recovered from COVID. So it was quite a chill week at work because I was kind of easing in back to work. Hopefully you guys enjoy that vlog. I'm gonna go and edit it. I haven't even started editing it and it's Wednesday and I'm on nights and then I'm on Thursday on nights. Friday is the most exhausting day because I would have had four days of messed up sleep cycle. So I kind of then only have Saturday. So I try to edit a little, little, little every day, at least half an hour. So I'm gonna go and do that now. <music> sandwich. Here's a mess. What's going on? Why is this keyboard not connecting? I quickly get some editing done as I know my brain isn't functioning very well to be studying post two nights. I use Final Cut Pro for editing my vlogs and I get a lot of tips and ideas from watching Skillshare lessons who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. More about Skillshare later on in the video. I'm Jim, Jim Nelson. Jim, Jim Nelson. I'm <laughs> Watching friends before a set of night shifts is a must in my routine. It keeps my mind momentarily off what lies ahead of me and it puts such a huge smile on my face. Basically sets me in a good mood before the task that lies ahead of me. Post-watching friends playing a couple of games of Monopoly deal is again something that's a must. And if I win, then I set off my nights on an even better note which I did on this particular night. How many Monopoly deal fans do we have here? Comment down below with the words Sly deal if you are a fan. If you had not done the Sly deal, you would have won, yeah? I had this. I had a very this. strong feeling that was a crucial point. Yeah. Look at this guy's face. Is he gone? 
Then I'm like, so let's go get ready. Uh, see you on the other side. Just wanted to quickly show you guys what I usually wear in winters for my own call. So I've got like a fleece turtleneck kind of situation. It's from Uniqlo. It kind of is quite useful for layering. Then I'm wearing scrubs. I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt on top of it. It's a plain black hoodie of Dean. So it's quite oversized and it'll keep me nice and warm. It's like a hug. And then I'm wearing obviously bottoms of the scrubs. But what might look like socks to you, they're not socks actually. I'm actually wearing a layer of like stockings, like a whole stocking. So it's kind of two layers. It keeps you really nice and warm comfy loose and you know easy breezy don't want to be in uncomfortable clothes when you're on nights that's it oh the end for my on call so what all do i take with me there's always a novel which i never read because there's no time just open packet of this got my lip balm bottle of lemon water which i can keep refilling there my flask to have tea then i've got some dinner which i'll eat in the middle of the night or early morning don't know depends when i find time some warm salad made by dean then some fresh fruits for breakfast and i've got my shawl and pillowcase yeah ready to go for picnic <laughs> don't go <laughs> bye good. Bye. Love you. Miss you. I always take a cab to the hospital on my set of nights. I can't be asked to stress about public transport and train timings when I have a lot of other things to stress about already. After a quick cab ride, I make my way to the handover room. Here you can see my best mate Gino who gave us the handover as he was the evening on call doctor. I and my other colleague who are the night doctors then quickly go through the handover, sort things in the order of highest clinical priority to least clinical priority and then divide the jobs. At the start of each shift, I make sure I call the bed management services of the trust to ask if we're expecting any new admissions as it kind of helps me prep mentally for it and sometimes also prepare the notes in advance prior to seeing the patient. Um, hi, this is a duty doctor calling from the I was just wondering if I could inquire, are we expecting any new admissions tonight? I thought there was a patient waiting in um, the 136 suite to get a bed or is that not correct? Is there any information about where he'll be going um, to this site or the other one? Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, we've already had two admissions and this is the third one. So I've been called to see a patient who's a young female who's just come in and she's under section two. I put in what details are putting someone on section over here. She's got mental health history, she's got a diagnosis of bipolar affective disorder. She's been non-compliant with the medications for the last few months, has not been engaging very well with the services, and also she seems to be intoxicated now, um, has substance misuse history so she was brought in by the police yep so she's come into the ward and she's waiting for me to go and assess her so i'm gonna go and clock her in and yeah i'll see you in a bit okay um so just found myself a quiet corner so it's almost 1 15 a.m right now I've finished clocking the patient now i'm going to go head back into the on-call room and basically do the notes which is going to take quite some time and yeah i just still feel so comfortable filming while well, i've got colleagues around so yeah so i'm going to try and film as much as possible but yeah i've had a few admissions into the section 136 suite as well so i'm going to go and do the notes now so see you on the other side Clocking a new admission can take a while as we need to put in the notes, physical health assessment, bloods, ECG, do a bunch of forms or else the KPI gods won't be happy, do the prescribing etc. This can take a good chunk of your time and tonight we had back-to-back -back admissions which was a little too much for midweek.
After putting in the two clocking, sorting out the 136 admissions, I finally found time to have my dinner which sort of isn't really a dinner at this point in the night. Dean sometimes randomly puts cute handwritten notes in my bag with the cutlery to cheer me up. He knew I was stressed about these block of nights so it really cheered me up to see this note. I then watched a vlog by Elizabeth Phillips while I finished my late dinner, early breakfast I think, whatever that was supposed to be. At this point, we were struggling to stay up so we decided to play some Ali Abdal videos to keep us company which didn't really help much with our exhaustion so we switched back to Ed Sheeran. I was the one handling the on-call phone this night. We then went to our respective bedrooms to stretch our legs for a bit and fingers crossed get some rest in. Here's me trying to give you a quick tour of one of the on-call rooms which I was resting in. It's an ensuite room, pretty basic and does the job it's meant to. Well, I didn't get to rest much as I got two calls in from two separate wards with regards to physical health concerns. Luckily, I didn't have to exit the on-call room and pretty much triaged it over telephone call which was okay. But then I had to document the conversation and plan on patient's notes for the ward team to see. So, I've just been called to see a new admission. The time is 6.16 a.m. So I'm going to see this new admission now. This person is awake. Uh, hopefully it should be a quick one because it's 136 feet so it just would be a medical review. Yep, see you. I then get documenting seeing this new section 136 suite admission which doesn't take me long and I'm secretly hoping there aren't any more new admissions for the night as I'm knackered at this point. Just finished typing notes. Almost 7.30am and the sun's coming up. You can see almost sunrise. That was my tummy making sounds. I'm really exhausted. So I'm gonna go and get some rest in now and hopefully I see you directly past 9 a.m. post handover walking back home. It's almost 8.40 a.m. and the handover is at 9 a.m. so I've got 20 minutes. It's been quite a night, one thing after the other. So I'm just gonna have some fruits. This is something I usually pack uh, for myself to have in the morning. And I think I'm ready to hand over today. So hopefully the day on call, doctor has a good shift. It's the last night, one more to go. It's quite a foggy day today and it's cold. I'm glad I'm on nights, the days when it's not sunny. So I feel like I'm not missing out on much fun. I'll see you in the next clip when I'm on my way home. Post three nights and one more to go. You can see me conveying that to you all with the hand signs. Honestly, at this point, my body is as confused as my brain. All I'm looking forward to is having a hot shower, eating some warm food and sleeping in a warm bed. On days when I have zero motivation and complain about how stressful life is, I think back to 2017 when I was starting my PLAB journey and I was worried about getting a UK license, finding a job, getting into core training, let alone in London. So I'm always very grateful for all that I have. Anyway, once home, I'm excited to have a delicious plate of three cheese pasta made by my lovely husband. We both then watch a new episode of This Is Us, which is currently on its final season. <laughs> I can see your shadow. Previously on This Is Us, I got the results of the PET scan back and this scan is positive for plaques. Saying a prayer is a part of our routine and I'm forever grateful for everything the universe has granted us. After a nice meal and finishing the episode, I make my way to the bed. It honestly doesn't take me even a minute to fall asleep considering I'm on day 4 of messed up body clock. Exhausted. Oh, tonight 
this is my final night trip so i am excited about that i can finally have a normal sleep routine from tomorrow but i'm kind of exhausted so i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna get up now do some editing have something to eat have lots of tea basically that's another routine that i have before i go on nights watch some friends that's a must it always sets me for my nights and sets me in a good happy mood place um monopoly deal that's a part of my routine i just like playing it before i go on my nights so i'm not gonna film the whole shebang again because you guys have seen that so yeah i'm kind of mumbling now i'm just gonna get out of bed now need to although like my body has given up i'm just like oh, i want to sleep for 12 hours straight this usually happens with weekday nights like my body starts giving up by the fourth night i think that's because i didn't get any sleep at all during my night shift yesterday and i've been holding the phone for two nights in a row so tonight hopefully the other doctor will hold the phone so i hopefully will get some rest in and i should be okay for tomorrow yeah i'll see you on the other side to the Spain visa center to apply for the Schengen visa and our passports just arrived today. Dean didn't wake me up, I was sleeping in the afternoon. So this is gonna be literally my live reaction to seeing how long the visa is for. Before you guys get to know what was the outcome of the visa application, let's take a break to talk about our lovely show sponsor for today, Skillshare. I'm so excited to be partnering with them on another video. If you didn't know, then Skillshare is an online community which offers thousands of online lessons on a wide range of topics from editing, filming, interview tips, art, productivity, illustration and so much more. There is something for everyone. As this channel is all about that work-life balance, here's your chance to pick on a new skill set. As a member, you get unlimited access to thousands of these inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. I have uploaded a class of mine on Skillshare about NHS Jobs portfolio, sharing my entire portfolio from 2018 when I was applying for my first job in the NHS UK. I know so many of you are international medical graduates here just like myself and trust me that the lesson is very useful as it helps you frame your portfolio right for your job interviews. By watching that class, you will learn about how to fill in the details in the various sections of NHS Jobs profile. The ethos of my YouTube channel is all about having that work-life balance and chasing your side passions and hobbies. So this new year, if you want to take up a new skill set, then check out Skillshare. If not, for anything, then watch the NHS Jobs profile video, which I bet you, you will find helpful for your IMG journey. So if you want to enjoy the benefits of this wonderful platform, then I'll leave a link down below in my description box. The first thousand of my subscribers to click Click the link in the description, we'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now back to the video to know the visa application results. What? Yeah. I was like calculating. <laughs> so it's one year visa. Yeah, it Stop. <laughs> oh my god, babe. Mad, huh? I got babe. <laughs> Even if they give three months, but at least six months, yeah. Oh my god, babe! I'm not even going to stay. Ah! <laughs> this is a good start. I was like, today's vlog started. I'm so tired, guys. Exhausted. I feel like full of energy now. I was so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I can't stop talking now about all the places we want to visit in the next one year in Europe. Just wanted to show that. I woke up to an envelope. So, Dean just gave this to me right now. And it's such a cute card from Lord. She sent Christmas wishes for me and Dean in Welsh, which is so cute. And she has sent us two gilded teapot winter spice brews, which is so sweet. So, can't wait to try this post nights. This is going to be on my list of things to try tomorrow. But thank you so much lord i don't know if you're gonna watch this vlog or not i don't know if you watch my vlogs or not but thank you so much thanks lord i think i now understand why she sent it because remember i put that poll of how to turn dean into a tea oh. lover and she's given like such cute instructions on how to <laughs> brew it dutch 
in your bloomers? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> and he's really great though. By now you all know that watching friends before my night shift is a crucial part of my mental health. It just puts a big smile on my face and puts me in the right mood. After dinner and friends comes Monopoly deal. I won two nights in a row guys. I'm telling you if you haven't checked out this game then please do. It will definitely be one of the best card games you have played ever. Good night. Bye. Bye. Miss you. Miss you. All Take ready. care. <laughs> Bye. I then make my way to the hospital for handover and my final night shift of this block of nights. Here's me giving you an on-call room tour. Okay, so thought I'll just show you guys what the junior doctor's area. It's kind of like a two-bed flat kind of thing. So this is the junior doctor's on-call room area. Then you go in here, on-call doctor's room number one, which is where I am sleeping and using this so you've got like bed pillows two-way massive windows you can see my reflection hi this is actually supposed to be linen covered kind of empty i need to stack this back up yeah and then you've got a side cabinet here just to put your stuff it's an ensuite room got washroom we've got basin got shower a toilet here so this is the on-call bedroom number one switch off the light save electricity then you go in here and you've got on call doctor's room number two. Same thing, it's my colleague using it, so I don't want to go in. So it's got bedroom and ensuite washroom. As my colleague was on the phone with his family, you will have to deal with my voiceover again. Here's the kitchen area, which has some basic supplies like tea, coffee, cutlery. There is a microwave, which is a must, and there is the main handover room where on call doctors hand over post and pre shift. We have two on-site radios for two night on-call doctors. The medical emergencies come through via the radios as it's time-consuming for wards to put a call via phone. So this is more time efficient. So, got a call. We've got two new admissions. We're going to divide and conquer. I'm going to go see one and my colleague is going to see the other one. This was an adolescent on a section 2 presenting for the first time to an inpatient camps ward with the working diagnosis of first episode psychosis. Just come back to the on-call room. I'm going to sit and type. The notes of this patient and do a little bit of forms got my laptop here open this is actually the prescribing where we do need to do a few prescribing for other patients who've come to the 136 suite do the notes of the one i saw just now prescribing for her and also do a few of the physical health forms and the capacity forms so yeah bits and pieces like that didn't even realize the phone was this way yeah so i'm gonna get started with that now come on focus yep so it's 12.40 now. So I just thought I'll take a quick break from all the typing of the notes and I thought I'll give you guys an idea as to what all we cover during our nights. I didn't exactly tell you what all services are present or what all places a doctor covers during an on-call shift on this side. I spoke about it in my previous night shift where I was covering two different sides. So I'll just give you an idea as to what all are based on this side, which is our main side of the trust. I've got a list here so that I don't miss out on anything. I mean, I've got four nights of messed up sleep cycle so just want to make sure so we've got one pq which is psychiatric intensive care unit then we've got one two three three adult mixed wards 18 to 23 bedded then we've got one old age ward one camps ward which is general camps then we have one eating disorder ward for adults and one eating disorder ward for camps which is child and adolescents mental health services then we've got uh, one rehab have ward, a uh, long stay rehab ward, one um, deaf ward, one OCD and BDD services. We've got that ward. Then we've got four forensic wards, uh, basically medium secure units. And then we've got one low secure unit forensic ward. Then we cover one section 136 suite, basically when a police sections you in the community and they're brought in here for an assessment. Then we've got two assessment units. Yeah, so these are all the places that we cover. I don't know what it adds up to around 15 wards that we cover. One section 136 suite into assessment suite so yeah that's the main site so i just wanted to give you guys an idea or basically an index as to what all we cover during the night shifts so i'll see you in the next clipping 
so I was just taking a quick break to have some of the leftover pasta from lunch this is literally the third time I'm having it I had it for lunch, I had it for early dinner and having it for late night snacks kind of thing and then I opened the cutlery bit <laughs> the note Dean has left today cracked me up this guy really knows how to <laughs> make me laugh in the middle of the night as well back to eating food and continuing with work It's finally the last few minutes of my on-call shift. I have some green tea and fruits for breakfast and prep for the handover. So glad it's a sunny morning. I'm finishing my nights on. Hi, Hi Claire. Hi. Say hello to Claire, who we hand over to this morning, who is also one of the co-psychiatry trainees in the trust and happens to be the day on-call doctor this morning. It's so nice meeting you. Done. And then the hand signs are back again guys to convey the message that I am done with a set of weekday nights. Now I finally can resume life and have a relaxing day out with Dean. I was listening to the audiobook The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I highly recommend this book. Probably one of the best fiction books I've read in a while. I finished a whole set of nights and I'm now on my way home. The whole point of this vlog was basically to show work-life balance. I've got a whole day planned today. I'm not gonna go home and rest because then I can get my body clock back on track if I don't go to rest. So we're going to this restaurant, about which I'll tell more later on. All about work-life balance, I'm all about that. I'm not just about all work, no play. I like to have a good break and I've had a very busy set of nights and I deserve a freaking break. So I'm gonna go out now, get myself a glass of wine or more, have a good meal with Dean. It's been more than a month we've stepped out for a meal and yeah I just basically show you guys bits and pieces of London and show what work-life balance means to me so see you in the next clipping finally already this is the look got this topi a little background on where we are going there's this place in Covent Garden I don't know how to spell it I'm gonna put the place over here it was supposed to be a Christmas dinner thing obviously didn't happen so I'm sure the Christmas decor has been taken off by now but whatever is there we're just excited to go there even if I haven't slept in the last four nights I still feel so full of energy I'm just excited this is what I do usually post nights go somewhere fun to fix my body clock this whole vlog was all about having a good work-life balance so I took you guys on the last two nights of my set of four nights and this is what I do post nights I always have a plan enough of me chatting about my body clock and nights you guys have not clicked on this video to know about that yeah I'm taking you guys on today's plan and yeah so just to show you what my post on call day usually looks like let's go Oops. Whoopsie daisy! Whoopsie daisy! Which movie was this? Whoopsie daisy from I don't know. Don't know. It's based on a place name in West London. Like by now, I'm sure people have also guessed it. I don't know which one. Notting Hill. The feeling of you in my bed. I was just walking, and I passed this branch, and this got stuck. <laughs> I, I continued walking without it. I'm down at this waist. This is so funny. Let me fix it. I'm right below your waist. All these things only happen with me. Continued walking. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, who grabbed you? <laughs> Poor thing. I want you by my head. I'm doing all this face up, me some low time, baby. You're always running in my mind. Here we are. This is how they arrive. They're all seasonal. They are English cutting garden style, so they're quite rustic. And people generally start and just love it. And, yeah, Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. you close to missing your existence fill my head with some clouds baby fill my brain with some ecstasy i'm sick of daydreaming i just want the feeling of you in my bed i'm down at this way
After a glorious lunch, we then decided to take a walk to St. James Park. It was a really beautiful sunset hour. Days like this, I'm so grateful for my job, my life here in London, for my physical and mental health, my dreams, my family, my husband, my friends and everything else in between. We don't want to wait no more. Dean, have you met your friends? <laughs> All of them are here. What's up, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Stalking to you, yeah? <laughs> he said, next time, come alone. Can't take breaks no more. I've needed company from you lately. Fill my head with some clouds, baby. Yeah, so we are waiting for Lizzie <laughs> to come pick us up. She's late. Anyway. Jokes aside, we're standing outside Buckingham Palace. This is our favorite spot to kind of watch sunset, which makes no sense. We even go to Primrose Hill to watch, but we come to Buckingham Palace to watch sunset. We've reached the end of the vlog, guys. Um, the ducks are saying bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. It's okay, Dean. Your friends are getting a little excited. This is the end of the vlog. If you guys enjoyed the video, then do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Yeah, there's more of these weekly and daily vlogs coming up this year. I haven't slept in four days. So I'm excited to go back and get my <laughs> night routine back on track. Why did you stop? <laughs> I told the camera. If you've enjoyed this vlog, drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you think of it. And this is where we sign off. Be kind to yourself and to everyone around you and your loved ones. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep well, safe. She'll see you in the next one. Keep safe. Wear a mask. Get vaccinated. Bye. Give a kissy.